All right, everyone. Hold on, it's called. Uh, I was just asking him what Mary, color. Mary Monde. Mary Monde. And I found it on a random Instagram ad. Oh. But then, Singapore, they're very popular, right? I've seen this kind of this mm-hmm. brand before. I think it's, it has a, a famous illustration of mm-hmm. like flowers. That one is. Uh, they have a few colors that are meant for your base lip color, uh-huh. and I just use those because I'm. I like more toned down muted colors, and the rest of the colors are jang mm. Um So this one is the more warm one, and there's one that's more cool toned. I, really I think you'd like both of them. Mm. They're very natural. You can't see because it's so fucking dark in here. <laughs> yeah, it, re- it makes your lip look like it's natural, but it's very like plumped, and it gives a lot of volume. It also helps that I got the fillers recently again. <sighs> <laughs> oh well. Wow. Also, Agus have fillers. I didn't think we talked about that in the last because we filmed uh-huh. here two days ago for the mm-hmm. New Year's episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got Agus have fillers out of nowhere because mm-hmm. I was originally. Why did I? I just wanted to fill in the because I have lines under my eyes and I wanted to fill them out. Um, so I was like, let's try Agus have fillers. And they were doing a promotion where it's like you do Agus and you do lip fillers for like a discounted price. So I just oh really? Go ahead and they, the doctor was like, you know, your lips are uneven, right? I'm like, yes. <laughs> So he fixes it. So my lips are a lot more even now. But I do realize because I think uh, because last time I asked you, you said you got your fillers done, but it has been a long time and you, you haven't got any touch ups. So I think maybe as your previous filler, mm-hmm. no, uh, yeah, it became uneven. It becomes so he, uneven. He fixed everything. I didn't put too much. It was literally only one syringe that he used for everything. So uh, including your ego set and your oh, well, is, this, so. is the same same fillers. Mm-hmm. They just change the needle on the thing. You buy the the s- tube. The mm-hmm. syringe itself. A lot of people got ego set fillers. They look. They look like they literally have a warm. That is exactly yeah. what I want. I was like, please don't do that. He's like, uh-huh. don't worry. But I don't know if I like it or not because it's still really bruised, and the really? skin. Under I don't my- see any bruise going on. Because I, I covered it with a uh, a lot of concealer. Stuff, but, yeah, concealer and all that. But uh-huh. uh, it thought after the pookie, the swelling goes away. And then I have to see because I don't know. Really, it looks great. Thank you. Yeah, to be honest, I think it looks great. You are, the, you are the one. You are the one. Oh, uh, yeah, you, don't you don't need it. I, I was it. thinking you can't Because you naturally it, have huh? it. For me, I only had it on one side if I smiled a little bit. This oh. one, like zero. There's none here. Uh-huh. So, and he also told me, he's like, you know, you have less fat under your eye on your right side. Like here, there's no fat under here. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, do you feel judged? What else is, what what else is wrong with me, doctor? <laughs> oh, I don't feel judged. It's just more like, Okay. What else is? I was, but he he doesn't say it like you know like you need to fucking fix it. He just tells me. Cause, yeah, he's not really pushy. Yeah, he really yeah, is. Cause we go to the same dermatologist. But honestly, mm-hmm. he's kind of daddy. Oh my gosh, stop! I think he's, he's a mm. he studied in Michigan, I think. So he speaks mm. English fluently. It just sucks that the staff don't speak English there, mm. right? I go to Glow Clinic in yeah. uh, Gangnam, but the, their staff is super friendly, not in a very fake way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, yeah. that, yeah, that I like. Yeah. yeah, that's what I liked. The one lady can be a little not pushy, but be very like. Uh, I almost don't want to say no to her because mm-hmm. she's so like. Uh huh. Energetic know. and then yeah, outgoing. Yeah, but um, like I haven't done anything that I regretted. So, uh, but yeah, the, the, the doctor. Mm. I'm gonna go and get a <sighs> consultation. The way he speaks in English as well is just so soft. I'm just like, he I never, saw, I suddenly become he never like, spoke English to me, so I don't know. Oh, good. Eh? Yeah, he it, talks even in Greece, like, very like, yeah, he's very gentle, sweet, and just <laughs> fuck. I'm just trying to get my eggs off my little daddy. Why you gotta be so monkey? Like, he's a doctor, so. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I, I feel like those girls are not in solo because we we know about shows like Singles Inferno. We know shows about like you know uh, all the dating dating, yeah. dating reality shows. But if you want to see the real shit, you gotta watch Not in Solo. It, I, I'm solo. Yes, it's called I Am Solo in and YouTube, right? Uh, I'm not sure if they're on Netflix. YouTube. They're on Netflix. Netflix, okay. That's like they they don't get these weird these good good looking like sociopathic people from instagram mm-hmm. they have like the real people like they're usually older as well and they're very, very average normal ass people and girl <laughs> what did she but say they have really good jobs mm, yes. yeah there was one episode we were watching at your house the other day or a few weeks ago when there's one dude very just average not even attractive at all none of the girls went to him but the second he was like i'm a doctor <sighs> all the ladies were just like like Girl, that's me. That's fucking me. Yes. I, in the, <laughs> in the interview, they were like, "Oh, I think he's a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm interested in him. I will see you how like one." Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. The uh, kapchagi. Yes. Uh-huh. After he mentioned being a doctor, everyone's like suddenly. I'd be like, "That's so me." Like, to be honest, when I, because <laughs> I'm I'm older now, it, not necessarily like a doctor or anything, but as long as a guy has a proper job yep. and no, like, you know, 
can maintain his like current lifestyle yeah. and does not bother me financially, then I I will like that guy. Yeah, yeah. That's just how sad society is. I guess. What if <laughs> he was everything you could ask for and more? Good job, really good looking, super kind, response to all your psychotic form of texting. Mm-hmm. Can they? In your opinion, yes. <laughs> True. Uh-huh. Can they? What do you mean? Small dick. I don't mind. I don't really? mind. Really? Yes, I don't mind. To be honest, at this day of we're my talking age, like I- pencil dick. Pencil? Pencil dick. <laughs> Okay, not liter- not literally the size okay, of a pencil, so but just like cruel. just really small, really small, just small to a degree that you cannot use it uh, to proceed like it's, it's sexual c- intercourse. It's pretty difficult to even have any kind of it. for him. He feels everything, but for you, you literally feel nothing. You know how especially in that cavernous <laughs> pussy of yours. No, it's just okay. Well, I felt personally attacked. My genitalia. This is is very f- new and fresh, just like the new jeans song. But what, what is the new jeans song? What's your ETA? No, that's not it. Okay. That's you at your grinder date tonight. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> you know, if a penis is too small, it cannot like enter the exactly the hole. Yeah, you get like if he tries, um, he will always fail because it always fall out because it's too small. Mm-hmm. It does exactly. not go what in. What if it's that small? How would you? So if you to that degree, like so small that he can't even like Stick put it, it in because your booty's so fat. <laughs> Cause you got a fat, you got a chunk, you got a fat patty. Uh, you got, you got, yeah, it's, yeah. Why do you think it's my problem? It's just why don't you think it's just him? Is that it's not big enough? It's not my. But in this situation, I'm asking yeah. you, how, if it was perfect with everything except the, the dick that doesn't really go into your your pussy very well. I will. To be honest, I, at this day of my you know stage of my my life, I will okay. I'll be okay because I've I, seen. I love how you say that at this stage of your life. Yeah, cause cause girl, that's me at this point. I've seen enough dicks. Yeah. I've seen seen enough penises in my life. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm almost turning myself into a lesbian. Imagine how tired we are. Yes, I'm almost turning myself into a lesbian. Like, I. I, Because you're going after bottoms now. (laughs) I don't don't really care anymore. I can just see you sadly opening your phone, going on Tinder, editing profile, and changing Uh. B to. A B yeah A B means verse yeah verse bottom. Verse bottom yeah I just I feel like now it's like I'm I'm turning into pansexual I guess like forcedly really into, because have you ever been attracted to a girl um, recently I have once and not is this the, serious not in the sense of like oh yeah she's pretty but like no, she you're is, sexually attracted to her uh I feel like if I I could go out with her like I can date her I I would be like gonna clothes shopping date with her <laughs> you know to the cafe I, I do because I do, do realize I do have a, like a spectrum I before I know that I, I really? thought I was 100% gay and bottom uh-huh. now I feel like if there there is some girl that's like re- know that I'm gay and is okay with it and then I happen to like her too I, I can oh my am I saying that I'm bisexual oh my God, you're bis- <gasps> oh, I'm not now you know I'm the girl is gonna I'm, come after you I'm no. sure there's a lot of lesbians that watch us uh huh they're gonna come after your pussy, Edward. No, I, I feel like. They're gonna... No, I feel like um, I st- I'm still very, very gay. But just like if I happen to meet a girl, then she understood me, and yeah, like I would try. I could try. I don't you'll, mind. You'll keep anymore. her in the list of people where it's like, if I don't get married to the man of my dreams, we'll, well just get married. That's different from that. I think I could be sexually attracted to a girl. Really? It's just very rare, though. It's very rare. Like, recently, it ha- happens to me once, mm-hmm. um, but I didn't say anything. Um, so, when I see guys, I'm still super much. I felt the sexual like attraction is so much stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Versus when I meet a girl, I felt like, Oh, uh, maybe if she comes after me very strongly, then mm-hmm. maybe I will try. But that never happens, right? Because the girl always knows that I'm a gay person. Yeah. So I just get, I guess, like, but and I don't, I don't mind, and I, just, I will always date a guy. I guess. Like, do you know how? So you're a bottom. Yes, I'm a bottom. <laughs> you know how I felt in China, a lot of cases happen like this. Mm. Some girls they will get heartbroken by a lot of. Uh, straight male mm-hmm. and then later on then then they only date girls in their lives mm-hmm. like they only date very guy like there's a uh, lot of lesbians yeah lesbians in China. yeah they will only date they would only handsome. date girls because they felt like they got so sick of mm-hmm. real man well, I don't fucking blame them yeah I don't fucking blame them that's how I felt and I'm, I'm kind of sick I'm just tired my god this is too um, negative 
No the energy for you guys. No. Yeah, but that's how I felt in my current life now. Also, I love oh. how you're giving today. You're giving um white woman in uh the Notebook style <laughs> movie. I know, right? Like, your, if I have gold uh, jewelry, it's, it's, it's always it's it's this it's this for me. Uh, <laughs> you have gold jewelry. I'm baking pumpkin pie. I have gold earrings and jewel jewelries, and I go you know I go to Sunday church. It's giving XG winter without you. So now. Can't relate because I don't listen to them. I, I do listen to left and right, left, right, left, left, right. The the guy that wrote that song, Chancellor, mm -hmm. he visits the cafe, the bounce cafe I always go to, uh, oh. quite often. Oh, he's still the, pro pro the producer for yeah, him, uh, Jacobs, mm -hmm. Simon, their CEO. And they work with a lot of different producers, but there's like the main thing. I'm just like, why the fuck do I never? It's it's always when I leave the cafe, I'll go back the the same day, and the cafe as I name is like. You know, Chancellor was here earlier. I was like, this is like the fifth time this has happened. Oh my God, you know what? The what? Fuck? There will be one day that you meet him. Hopefully. Yes. I'm, I just want to get his uh, autograph on that CD because he wrote some of the songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? And is he, he cute or anything? Or He's married, I think. He's married. Okay. Oh, never but mind. he's just an average, just Korean guy. Oh, I see. Like, but regular. he's definitely talented. I, Honey, I'm what? super attracted to talented people. <laughs> don't you this think? That's what I've always yeah. said. I don't care. I know we always talk about like, oh, hot, hot, hot. Yeah. I'm always following these hot dudes on Instagram. Uh -huh. But when someone is good at something, like, even like fucking, when someone tells you they know how to play the piano, I'm suddenly mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. <laughs> me too. I'm just, if someone, a guy is like, <laughs> does his job so, <laughs> you just look like you're sh cold and like, <laughs> shivering in a, like, a s snowstorm. <laughs> And then you're about to turn it into a human ice cream. Human ice cream? Yeah. But like you're about to freeze. Oh, honey. Yes. You know, like those cart cartoons, like they went out and then they become like, <laughs> and, like human what? eyes. Yeah, you know, that's how. <laughs> yes, I do. Agree. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if I see a guy who's super talented uh, and then knows what he's doing in his field, mm -hmm. I found that super attractive. Mm -hmm. Um, Especially if he, you know, he's very interested in the art field. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he likes to write literature. Yeah. And he reads a lot of book, like paintings, or like those sort of visual art. Mm -hmm. And I just found it super attractive. But I found those people extremely, extremely sensitive in terms of oh, personality. Of course, of course. Yes. And it's yeah. hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. So it's just, uh, you know, it's a double... Double-edged sword. Yeah, double-edged sword, you know. Yeah, I, you I, uh, I find... Because I've dated those people before and I... Same. It's hard, mm -hmm. you know, right? It's yeah. hard. Because I'm a very sensitive person myself. And then... And also there's an aspect, I feel like a lot of these types of people um, are so into their work sometimes. Yes. For me, I'm... You know my, you know my dating... Sorry, that was my straw. You know my dating style. I wouldn't mind, mm -hmm. but for you, I cannot. Yeah, especially if they're always working on whatever they're mm -hmm. doing, and they don't have time to communicate. Because uh, I'm super busy already, and if that person is really, really busy, and we have literally only one or two interactions in in the day, then I feel like what's the point of being boyfriends? So you can't really date a uh, hisa one. His own, I always date his, his own, his own. But, but it, cause they have, cause I finished my work around six to 7 PM, mm -hmm. but, um, our artist, like a freelancer, the, the schedule is not fixed. Mm -hmm. And then they might have a lot of work during the night because that's when they get mean, the epiphany. Yeah. A lot of the types of people tend to work at night. Mm -hmm. Me included. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Cause they think that it's the, the work, it, um, it finishes much more smoothly when you get, you know, any ideas mm. at night and everything. Yeah. So uh, our work schedule will be completely different. Mm -hmm. It's just hard, Edward. You no, know, I know love conquers everything, but it needs a lot of, you know, initial communications and dates and just to, you know, to build up that that connection. But we don't have any time to build up that connection if that, mm -hmm. that if person is an working, artist. Yeah. That's why um, I will just end up marrying a normal man, which I'm not complaining. You're going to end up marrying Hatsune Miku <sighs> on your Nintendo DS. Mm, I'll be the first user to register the AI him service. You know the movie Her? <laughs> yeah. I'll be oh, like, no. I'll be like, honey, when are you coming home for dinner? Bitch, I am home. I'm right here sitting on the counter. I am your always here. Yeah, that would be yeah. That I think that would be perfect. Well, don't wouldn't you use a service like that? Nope. No. Nope. I want something that has a dick. What if it's a robot and they, it ships to your house and mm -hmm. it has a dick, and then it acts like a human? That's creepy. I feel like it's very uncanny valley. 
Mm, but the the face and then the movement is very natural. So it's not. It doesn't have uncanny like valley thing. It's, it feels like a huge true human. It's just like the you know the Japanese anime where the guy found uh, this um, non functioning robot next to a dumpster, and then she pick she like the, the guy picks her up and brought bring her bring her home, and then you didn't know that that's weird. You didn't know that I, anime. It's called. Does it look like I know it. It's made. It's an old anime. Um, it's by Clamp. The, the, Clamp. Oh my god. Yes. He's so older money though. Yeah. I haven't heard that. Name I think Gen Z so, doesn't know who Clamp is. Yeah, they made a bunch of famous ones, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't they, they make um card catcher uh, Sakura fruits basket to Haji Anso? No fruits basket. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Clamp! Holy shit, Clamp! That was a wave of nostalgia just yeah, now. Oh my god, uh, we're really old now, Edward. Did you ever see the the anime Ranma One Half? Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god! I wish I was Ranma. Yeah, because I was like, mm, that's your identity. Sometimes I'll turn into a girl. What was that thing that caused him to turn into a girl? Like water? Yes, water. Ho- so hot water and cold water. It's crazy. Yeah, because it, this is the the content of the, the anime mm-hmm. that we're talking about. Lama is uh, the main um, character who who is a boy, mm-hmm. and uh, him and his father went to a like, journey to China mm-hmm. to practice kung fu, mm-hmm. and then they accidentally, uh, you know, <laughs> like they jumped into the the cursed, cursed water. fountain. Yeah, and, and the specific fountain that Lama jumped into is um, called Woman's Fountain. Mm-hmm. So later on, if he encounters hot water, he will turn in himself into a woman, mm-hmm. and then if he splash cold water he so well, yeah, he goes back to mm-hmm. who yeah it's a very and craziness ensues it plays with the gender a lot and in, mm-hmm. the, in the anime it's, it's especially uh, it really triggers me because I was like you know I was like Did c- it awaken confused that? really teen, yeah. did it awaken any part of you where you're just like yeah maybe I boy, should get really a book job or something <laughs> I'm just kidding yeah big tits as a girl yes because I think back then the woman that was portrayed in Japanese anime always have really good body and mm-hmm. figures and a lot of I think Japanese anime is obsessed with girls with big tits, mm-hmm. don't you think? Of course. Yeah, it's, it's in their culture or something. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever watch Rave Master? Rave Master? Mm. No, I think if you show me, I might know because because I read it in Chinese. Uh, the name might be different. Uh, oh my god, I really miss old anime. I know. Mm. Oh my god, I don't know you what don't know. this is. Did you ever watch Yu Hakusho? Yu Hakusho? The snowman mascot thing. Yeah, he looks like a character from uh, Fairy Tail. Really? Yeah. It might be. Do you know Fairy Tail? Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail. Mm-hmm. Fairy Tail is very famous. You guys don't know Fairy Tail? In Korea? In the world. I've fairy Tail. Uh, the Fairy Tail's author used to work under the author of One Piece. Really? That's why the drawing style is a little bit different. Uh, it's a little bit similar if mm. you look at the manga. I watched all the anime and I watched all the manga. I love Rare Tail. Did you ever have an anime club in school? I did, yeah. Oh, really? I didn't join, though. You didn't join? Yeah, because my... For, be afraid that people think I'm an otaku. Ha! <laughs> what? What's wrong with being otaku? And that, it's just, um, you know. Did you ever have the kids that wore the Naruto headband and be like, oh my god, they, they, they run like this. like this? I love that. Because th- th- that guy, exactly, he is from the anime club mm. from my school, and then he he had the band, exactly, and then he was running like this, mm. and I was like, God, that's not giving. It's just it's not giving. You, 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 what? I was like, you can't, you can't do he said that. That's not giving. I thought you can't do that, f- like inside of your heart, or do that without any people watching, <laughs> and do that in in, in my, our school. And it, it's just, I didn't judge him. You did. Like, you did. I judged him by my not- eyes. I'm like. What? But I didn't judge him. Like I didn't say honest, it out loud. I was friends with those kids, so okay. I can't say. Were anything. you one of them? Like you I wasn't them? one of them, but I was friends with like those were my those types of people were my friends. Mm-hmm. So I'm still obsessed with. Can you tell that uh-huh. I'm kind of like the one that grew up kind of like the outcast, and you grew up as the mean girl? No, I didn't. I never. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always the, the outcast. No, right? I, I used to be. Then why f- you act like a mean girl? <laughs> Cause it's, uh, the Otakus are just living their best lives And here you are Well I'm friends with all the main girls <laughs> you know. I feel like you and me Were the types of people where We had friends in all kinds of different groups yes. We were kind of just there Yes, We never stu- We were never like you know, If you're in like the outcast group You're always talking shit about the mean girls It was never mm-hmm. really that mm-hmm. If you're with the mean girls You never really talk shit about the You know Yeah I'm And just it's glad you down below in the comments People like I remember you in high school You were fucking all along. Oh well 
If there's anything you have to say, just say it in the comment. If you remember what I did. You know, in uh, shows like Glee or like cartoons or like mm-hmm. sh- dramas of like American high school life, people swirlies or whatever when they shove their head in the toilet and flush the toilet. Has that oh ever happened in any of your schools? In my school, no. But it must happen in normal Korean schools, I guess. Like okay. the bullying. It- Girl, they just be- 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 beating people up. What do you mean? Swirlies. Be- oh, I got, I got bullied. I got beaten up like once. Really? I think I talked about it in front of camera, no? Yeah, I think I did. I talked about it in Bunny and Cherry. Because sure. school bullying does happen, and uh, we call it bingtiki. Bingtiki Bing. is one of the the method of uh, school bullying, which yeah. means you threaten uh, a person mm-hmm. to get money from that person. Uh, yeah, like yeah. If a person have some allowance to school, yeah. for example, like $10, and then you ask that person, where where's your lunch money? And then you grab uh, it. Because I got bingtiki. Really? Before, yeah. That's so weird. Because I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was bingtiki before <laughs> because the two guys in my school, they, they came to me. And, and they were so said, hot. And you were like, I do have money. The, the, those two, uh, one of them, are, do you have one cock? of them I'd fuck, but. Do you have cock to give me? Do you I have like, cummies? Of course, like. Do you have cummies? Oh my god! I was like, of course, I have money. Like here it is. Kunde. <laughs> yeah. Um. The way they approach it to me is like, can you borrow me the money? But then I realized it's a, a very common method from the bullies. They, they use they, the word borrow. Yeah, they would borrow. I really thought it was there. They're borrowing with, me with the intent to pay you back. They did not pay me back. So they asked me for 20, 20 Canadian dollars. I gave it to them. Oh, this is in Canada. This is Canada. But the students, they are Korean uh. because I'm, I was in an international school. Mm. And then I gave, the first day I gave them $20 and the next day they asked me again for more money. I'm like, well, I'm not a fucking ATM. Yes. I, in my logic, if you ask someone for money for your personal emergency, then you give that person back first and then you borrow mm-hmm. again. So I, was, I said no. And then they were, they got super upset. They're like, are you ignoring, nah, 무시하는 no, 무시하는 they're like, are you ignoring me? Or? Yeah, I sure fucking am. Yeah. That's what I'm fucking doing. Yeah, but I was like, I didn't understand the logic. I was like, I'm yeah. not the person, I did not do anything wrong. Yeah. And then my roommate, um, he is Korean as well. And he told me actually those are uh, very common method of like bullying. They're just uh, asking you for the money, w- which they won't pay you back. Yeah. So. I said, I, I then I gave them a strong no. I said, no, you have to give me my twenty dollars back. Then I will consider borrowing you more, lending you more. Yeah. And then they got super super upset. And then after school, they came to my um, school resident because they live next door. The residence advisor lives on the first floor, so he, he wouldn't know. Uh, we were upstairs, like you know, arguing. And then those two people, they're like, they were trying to slap me, but I like sort of a. Oh, try to avoid it, you, and then my you're Rihanna in the uh, umbrella video, <laughs> yeah. dodging the yes, water. Yes, I'm like this, and then but my <laughs> I got my glasses, so my glasses like phew, went Oof. onto the floor, and then my roommate, he came in the middle of us, mm-hmm. trying to stop us from fighting, because I I got shocked that's the, the, my first time being like someone ever wa- mm-hmm. trying to like hit me be- yeah. beside my parents. Because my parents beat me up, like, so. yeah. and that's just uh, par- parental abuse, which over, is another story. Over uh, twenty bucks. Over twenty. That bucks. you didn't let him. Yeah, borrow. yeah. That's and crazy. The, the, my, my room is like, do not, do not hurt Eddie. Uh, please, do not hurt Eddie. Blah, Don't blah. hurt Eddie unless I'm doing it too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. I like being choked. I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, throw a little shit in there and a little bit of money, and he'll uh, consider uh, I, it. <laughs> <laughs> You you just won't let that thing go. You won't let the dumpster thing go. So <laughs> okay. Anyway, those two people did not proceed any further violent act. Oh. And did, you, did he ever? He never paid back the twenty. He never. Of course, oh, they're yeah. bullies. They're they're actually What's bullies their in that school. Expose them right now. Mm, something June. I forgot <laughs> the most basic. I forgot something, something June. June. And uh, one person like he wears glasses. He's super skinny and he has like really small eyes. Another person has like really fatty cheeks. Mm-hmm. And then crooked teeth. Yeah, I just wish you the best. What if they both suddenly in the middle of their life had changes in their hearts? They became super hot, super nice, and they have good jobs now. And they ran into you. Oh, Edia! Oh, if they become famous, I will actually wrote you be a that girl public, that, yeah. that goes on the forum on yes. Twitter or whatever that's like, I remember you. I remember, cause be very vague, then immediately delete the thing mm-hmm. and then close your account. Because they they actually they literally tried yeah. to hurt me and then they tried to they me. did. Yeah, they did. They try. And um 
I mean, it's nothing about the money or how much they've hurt me. It's just it's a, the, the the experience, the mm-hmm. whole experience. I, you know, if I still remember it until this day, that means it's semi traumatic, mm. and I feel people they cannot just get away with it. You know, if you've done things horrible in your past, that's why I feel like a lot of people are saying, "Oh, school bullying is you know that's something that I did in the past, and they, they now they're better." But I feel like, what about the victims? You don't think there's any repenting? Um, repenting means like you don't think there's any way of uh, taking that back and oh. you know asking for forgiveness or like you know. I will actually not forgive them. To be honest, the the whole experience is. Mm-hmm. Because I still remember to yeah. till this day. It yeah. does not haunt me anymore, Please but it, it really gave me a really, yeah, the experience in high school. Yeah. yeah, it's very scary. Like people trying to hurt you. Like people, they're the same age with you, and your parents are away. My because my parents are back in China. Mm-hmm. They cannot even like protect me, and then you're underaged. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not the most fun experience, honey. What if later on in their life they have an opportunity to become public figures? They should always be in fear of the stuff that they did in the past. You know what the funny thing is? Mm. The, the, the things like this only the victim remembers. Because yeah. a lot of reactions I got, I, I've read from online mm-hmm. is those people who do not remember. Of course they, they won't remember. Yeah. yeah. They don't remember. Mm-hmm. They were like, oh, it was just a fun play mm-hmm. that I did, a fun play. Or I was just hanging out with my friends and we just, you know, the jokes got a little bit overboard. Mm-hmm. But I think only the victim will uh, remember mm-hmm. the, all the, the details. Yeah. Yes. Do you think they should just not pursue any sort of public figure sort of either they, job they should, or like they should, they position? Could. Yeah, they could. It's just um, things what they did in the past. I think uh, it will be, you know. Come up. All the ugly things, you know, so should saying, come up. So they shouldn't. They should, but they it's the, the only way they can, you know, Get what? to realize that they, what they did, it was completely wrong. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you, you want them to go through this whole thing of becoming either celebrity, mm-hmm. singer, a public figure, or whatever, mm-hmm. so that the Vicky can come out, expose them, and then they go through a bunch of shit. Well, from... How- I mean, but also, I also feel like if they're about, if they know they're about to become a celebrity, then they suddenly meet up with the victim to be like, "I apologize for what I did." I also feel like that's fake mm. because they know they're going to be famous, and they know they should apologize yes. now before they get famous later. And mm. then you come back, the victim comes back and be like, "You were, you fucking abused me when we were younger." Because what I really upsets me is mm. things like this, as I mentioned previously, is. How they only just um, you know vaguely remember what happened. They do not remember the the details. Mm-hmm. Which um, this kind of things they initiate this kind of incident, and how we remember all the details and uh, we felt so upset about it. And now we can't let them to reconcile what, how we felt mm-hmm. because they remember they don't remember it and anymore. It's just a really upset, setting feeling mm-hmm. for me. I guess. Yeah. So the, what I'm asking is, what should they do? They just, uh, that's why I chose not to forgive them. And then they, 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 there's nothing they can do because it's just a uh, no, uh, in Korean we call no dabia. There's no answer mm, there's to this kind of, about it. I think there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, a, what's that um, Cause saying? Because I, I, I don't hate them anymore. So I, there's no forgive or anything. It's just, mm-hmm. uh, it's upsetting to think about if you, like those people don't even remember. It's a piece of paper. You mm-hmm. crumple it up. Mm-hmm. And you can flatten it out as much as you want, but there's mm-hmm. always going to be yes, the little I feel like creases. Yes, it's just uh, just avoid things like this to happen in all cost. I guess if it happens, then it's just hard to take it back. Yeah, it's it sucks not that school never does anything about mm-hmm. it. It's not something like oh, you hate somebody, or like if, if something happened, because I you you hate because um, hatred or mm-hmm. negative feeling is something that you still remember that mm-hmm. person. You still think about that person. I don't think about them anymore. Yeah, it's just something that scarred me in mm-hmm. the past, and which cannot, you know, you can't really fix that. Yeah, if it was not my roommate, I cannot imagine what happened. What could ha- could have happened, right? Mm-hmm. If he did not come in between to yeah. attack me, mm-hmm. yeah, I still appreciate him till this day, and we still talk until this. Really, it's a really good shout friends. out to your roommate. Yeah, Song Jun. Song Jun. Yeah, I, I still didn't read your kata. I'm sorry. But I'll, I'll reply now. Hey. Yeah, we, I said, uh, we said like a Happy New Year. Well, even yeah. outside of Korea, the Koreans and all their drama. Yeah, the Koreans. I don't know what the happened. The drama, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> you just, what was our original topic for that? I have no, we had no original topic, Edward. I thought it was like, I thought we're going to talk about the best thing that happened this to thing us. That you thought we were going to talk about that? You thought? But we never are. We never were. Just talk about one thing that really 
<laughs> all this no tra- traumatic talk, and then all of a sudden, what's one thing that? <laughs> Because I, I always talk, it was like every single time we film, I always talk want to talk about something positive, you know, and um, you Who know, cares about positive, Edward. Really? Because because you, know, I, I heard people there to go to school in the morning to mm-hmm. listen to us, or they go to work and listen to us. I felt like I don't want to talk about something. Go, go so fucking negative. listen to like a Bible fucking podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want that. Oh yeah, actually. Hmm. Hmm. We can do a similar concept. What the, was it? What the Fallen you? Angels podcast. The the demonic the demonic um podcast. Bro, that's this entire podcast already. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that double D <laughs> two two demonic um two demons. Two demon yeah. homosexual podcast. Okay, never mind. What would you what do you say? What's your most favorite wobble? I want to know because one year has passed in your life. Mm-hmm. What what was the best thing that happened to you in twenty nineteen? XGI. That's that one. you want to recommend to people. XGI. XG was the best thing that happened to you. Yes. Like they, their music. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing you definitely want um, to Um rec- whether it be food, fashion, anything, anything in life. Movie, drama, uh, um, best purchase. Nicki Minaj is Pink Friday too. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, let's talk about one best and one worst. One best and one worst? Yes. One best? The Steam Deck. Steam Deck? The the game? The Steam Deck OLED. The one I'd be playing. Okay. I understood. Because your it's a hobby. Hobby, I, it's a basically a portable PC. Mm. So you'll be playing games on the go. Mm-hmm. And also I play emulation on there, which is basically you can get it so that you can play old PS1. Any any Yenai game system. Oh. So I've been girl, I've been exp- my the the rush of nostalgia playing those old ass video games I used to play as a young mm-hmm. kid. Love it. Try it for out. For example, which game, for example? Um, I don't think you would know them. I know Zombie vs. Plant. Oh, well, I, I love I, Zombie vs. Plant. Older than that. Like um, before iPad era. Before iPad era? Oh my god, I all played, the games I played is Chinese games. So I feel, uh, I uh, stuff like Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud. Um, shit like that. A lot of Resident, old Resident Evil ones. Anyway, love that for me. You don't have to have a Steam Deck for that. You can do that on your PC. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know. I just it might just be because I'm older, and these days, even when new games are coming out, I'm like, yeah, because when I was young, we don't have money that we can just spend. It's always our parents' money, mm-hmm. and my my mom was not always buying me video games. Mm-hmm. She bought me like one or two new games a year. Mm-hmm. So when I had a new game, I would cherish that shit. But now, as I'm old, now that I'm older, and I have a job, and I can buy games whenever I want. Yeah, can. When it's because when I had those new games, I would. That's the only thing I play. I I spend so many hours in it, but now I just I try it for five minutes. I'm like, eh. You're. That's what I felt. Is mm. before is it like clothes that I got. Mm. And, um, um, I don't do a lot of clothes shopping, but now that I work in fashion, mm. and I do buy a lot of uh, designer clothes. Not like Louis Vuitton or that kind of design level, but like a contemporary. Stuff, design yeah, a lot level. Of, you wear a lot of contemporary and like contemporary brands. Yes. I used to I still get very excited though. Uh but not as excited because I have so much clothes mm-hmm. and then it's more accessible to me. Yeah. Because I know a lot of brands so I can buy them. Um as like a wholesale price mm-hmm. instead of like a retail price. Uh, it's just, um, I remember because this thing really similar to a thing that Hesa one a the salary girl, oh, the really? Korean YouTuber, mm-hmm. she used to mention in her YouTube ch- videos, which uh, really I felt the same is when she used to work as a, you know, a normal, you know, every nine to five mm-hmm. worker in the gaming company that uh-huh. she used to work for. She used to um, sort of um, save, uh, save up to buy a Tom Ford lipstick, mm-hmm. which is like $50. And then she saved up for like, um, a week and then mm-hmm. she went to the counter and she got it and she's so happy now she got a lot of seedings mm-hmm. um, P- PR PR gifts mm-hmm. um, she just not she just not feel excited yeah. anymore I just, same thing with my, yes. like, I used to cherish every piece of makeup thing. I would have make so many videos mm-hmm. based on just the small amount of makeup I had mm-hmm. but now um, I get so much makeup that it's nice and it's fun but because I like collecting makeup but I end up using the same four or five products that I always be using on a daily basis yes I feel like it's just a, a balance balance of supply and demand mm-hmm. it's like if you're so over bombarded with so much things and you, you and it's super accessible for you mm-hmm. then you just don't feel yeah. like it's you know it's precious mm-hmm. 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 that's why I felt I felt like products cannot be super cheap because if you get it and you get a lot and then you don't even use it because you get it like mm-hmm. like this right yeah, yeah. except for skincare 
um, if I spend my money to on it, a good money on it, I actually um, use it more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it more instead of uh, gifts. For gifts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen to that. Mm-hmm. The best thing that happened to you is your game and yeah. XG. <laughs> you know what really worries me uh, now is you know the new Apple supervision uh, thing, uh, uh, the VR thing. Yeah, VR thing. They said using that to play games. The gaming experience is revolutionary. Is it? Yes, because you can really feel because I because uh, we had VR before already, but it's it felt so much more real, mm. and uh, you really felt like the 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 dinosaur is like coming at you and stuff. Because uh, I used to, um, I went to this business trip before, and then I played a VR game there because mm-hmm. they have they have a lot of like technique technology, like mm-hmm. new technology booth. Yeah, and I played the the VR game I played was quite entertaining, mm-hmm. but it was not super accessible for the the public back then. Uh. But I, but that's just a small company's VR. Um, it, or I already got really shocked. I was like, this is can be very dangerous and addictive, which I think I will be addicted to. Mm-hmm. Um. But what if you know Apple? They really they already like come out with this, and then it might be sold to the public very very soon, and very accessible to us. Then nobody, no one is talking to each other anymore. Like they were just staying at home it's and do, thing, doing this, doing this, and having this. It, that's how it is now. But it's gonna bring it to the next level. No, no, no. I think I'm gonna talk about. But I was watching the uh, promotional stuff for that. But it just feels like the type of thing where it's just like only niche a niche group of people would be into that mm. i don't know it could, it could be i mean i could be wrong because it's apple right because whatever apple does something the rest of the industry follows but with vr because vr has been around for a while now i have my own i have vr headset too at home um there's a game called mist mm-hmm. it came out in like the 90s a pc game it's like a point and click puzzle game mm-hmm. kind of like punk that sure in a way mm-hmm. like escape room type mm-hmm. of style mm-hmm. They have a VR version that mm-hmm. is fun because mm-hmm. you're like in the world and you're like you, doing these yeah. puzzles. Uh-huh. Um, I feel like it'd be fun for like an hour, and then you're like, okay, because really? because they they were showing the promotions that they were showing like doing work on it and like you know. What if they come they come out with a pornographic one? They already have on Steam. Really? Yeah, there's so many VR games that are like. But are Apple, like, the, what the Apple came out with it. Will come out with like even like an app. I don't think Apple come out with something. I think you mean like app on the App Store, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. But I just I'm just a little bit afraid, and I I, I think I you will think so? make a purchase just to experience. Just experience it. Yeah. What do you guys think? Maybe we should do an episode on Double D. We're trying out the the new Apple. What's it called? The VR, the Apple what? Some VR? Vision or something? Apple Vision. Something vision, no? Like I, I, I don't remember, but you guys know, right? The the new product. I'm what's excited price, to try. What's the price tag going to be? Like three thousand or something? Holy shit! I, do you want did, me to look it up? Did you see the image of uh? Because when you put it on, it projects an image of your eyes here. Uh huh. That's creepy as fuck. Yeah, and, and then if someone tried to talk to you, and then it becomes it opens. Yeah, it opens. Yeah, it, but it's not your actual eyes. It's a, an image of your eyes. Oh really? Yeah. That I didn't know because yeah. it's um, a screen. From what I saw is. Uh, if someone is trying to talk to you, it immediately like mutes itself, and mm-hmm. then you, and then it becomes translucent, so you can't actually see a, a, the actual person you can who's look talking out, to you. But the person can't look in. Oh yeah. So what what's on the screen is actually a vis- a image of your face, oh. which is so creepy. It, it is it is kind of creepy. I am I don't know what's gonna happen to us, Edward. This Edward, is... I really don't think it's gonna turn into an okay. apocalyptic type of shit at you. You know how in the nineteenth century. Mm-hmm. Um, the Mary Shirley, uh, she came out with a book called Frankenstein because she's afraid that the new technology is gonna, you know, ruin the world. Honey, it already has. It's <laughs> called her name is called TikTok. And shorts and reels, but TikTok, yeah, did brings the trend. Yeah. Yes, so, and you know what? You made it. I didn't make it. I'm just you made Doyen. Just my country, and um, well, we blame them. Just well, kidding. a lot of. Uh, Things are good to go vir- viral, but things, you know, it's just a dou- double sided sword. sword. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you, though? What's your uh, something that you want to recommend? The, the walls? Say walls. Well, Say walls. I think the, the best thing that happened. Walls. Walls. Ha! Those things that I want to recommend to you, goals, and do you feel like my accent? Okay, I'm so this is Edward you. trying to do a a west like a southern accent. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Really. I yeah I guess um I won't start doing it because um 
I would just maybe I when I do I would just do a British accent or something. Maybe you should stop doing accents and just tell us about what you recommended for twenty twenty three. Okay. Um I think this the best stuff. thing or the worst thing that happened to me in the previous year, the best thing that happened to me. Wait, are we talking about the best thing that happened to us? The best thing that you or you can recommend? Oh my mm. god, nothing good happened to me. See, and you want to be th- shoving this I, this cut topic to me? I'm very Kill sad. You. I'm very sad. There is a product called VT Riddle Serum. Do you know? <laughs> I I religiously used for. Uh, I've been using it for two months, mm-hmm. and um, I because the the Riddle the, it's called Riddle Serum by VT Cosmetics. Um, ah, VT. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the concept of it of it is to it, it's just like um the serum itself inside it has micro needles, so it's sort of gets into your skin and get rid of all your dead skin and visually like it shrinks your pores makes you look smaller i've actually seen a really major change in my skin texture so i really like that i think i will keep purchasing it until i got super tired of it because i ne- i never really um repurchase products that i use i think that's my best skincare and it's revolutionary actually I've you are doing any my... procedures at the same time mm, no not now to my like those things are just for tightening, not for like pores and everything. I do feel like different. Okay. I recommend it to you like immediately, but you ignored me. No, I remember. So. I remember the product, but you didn't buy it. I didn't because I didn't know where to buy it. <laughs> all of y'all, you all, of y'all? all you can even buy it in Daiso. You know that? Really? Yes, you can buy. You can buy the product in Daiso. Oh, I did see VT selling in Daiso. Yeah. I was like, they're sold in Daiso, mm. but all in all of y'all, they, they're they sold in the normal size, but in mm. Daiso they sold into like sample sizes ah. just for people to try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can. So of all the sh- things, mm-hmm. well, I can't say anything because I was like video games. I, okay. A lot of great good good things that happened in the previous year, but I just cannot say it out loud in front of the camera because people will think I'm a whore. Yeah. <laughs> What would that be? Uh, like my Busan trip. I didn't say my bussy. I was like, what? No, no. My Busan trip. I don't know. Like, whenever I get to Busan, like, I, it's not that I don't get messages or anything. I'm like, I'm an okay person on, on Tinder. Wait, wait. Are you talking about the best thing still or worst? Best thing. But when I go to Busan, I don't know what's wrong with the Gyeongsang province, man. Ah! They, they really like me. Like, <laughs> they really love this pussy. I don't know why. Oh! <laughs> it, um, for example, if my my popularity in 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 Seoul is like whatever, okay. Mm-hmm. But if I go to Busan, it's like I got a lot of messages. Like I don't. I need to go to Busan. Yeah, you should go. Like I think they they like feminine guy like me. <laughs> <laughs> so my Busan trip was very fun because I didn't intend to go. Um, I showed my friend a picture of you last year because uh-huh. I'm talking about you. Uh huh. Um, I was talking mad shit about you. I'm just kidding. You just did. No, I can't bring you up because I assumed uh, that he knew you, uh-huh. but he didn't know. He's like, I don't know who this Eddie is. I was uh, like, oh, okay, I'll show you a picture. Mm-hmm. And he's just sorry, but he's like, oh, it's like a typical Korean bottom. <laughs> I was like, I guess? I, I don't know. I am a typical Korean bottom. You think so? I think that's not an insult. I still think you look unique amongst them. Unique? That sounds so shady. I think you stand out. You're, really I, you're, you're special. You, you're in the. Like, I've never. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you know how how you, um, mothers bring their child to the to the um, to the teacher's cons, uh, uh, consultation. PTA. Yeah, the the, the teacher does uh, not want to conference. hurt the parent. Your child is, is unique, unique, um, like nothing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. Yes, um, I think he will be successful if you guide him into the right direction, and or you can transfer him to another school. Oh, <laughs> my parents. Yeah, my Pusan trip is. Um, I, I want, I'm gonna say this, but can you beep it, beep it, beep it mm. out? Busan <laughs> Kasu Okay, beep that out, please. But just let them imagine what happened. Holy shit! I love that. Yeah. yeah. I was. It was Honey, it was. They were coming. <laughs> they were coming. It was. I'm moving to Busan. Ah! <laughs> I, I will Busan. keep that in. Yeah, you should you should go once too. Cause I went there because uh, I have a friend who is from Busan, uh, but we went to the same university, 
she she's super busy she, so this time she cannot come to seoul and i'm like you know what i will because we're super close mm-hmm. like me and you close so i'm like oh you know what girl i will go to busan and we let's have a good time that's why i went yeah but before i went to busan i just knew that something's gonna happen to busan so i i, I purposely extended my stay oh, just for that God. yeah because every single time i go to busan that things like that happen busan guys please go to busan you know it's a place for getting, you know, pregnant. <laughs> I think and that's, that's how we end today's episode. So really, yes, bitch. But you gotta go to your dermatology appointment. Oh, but we. Oh. Bye. See you next week. Okay. All right. Okay.